But um, let's go ahead and jump on over to the next one because it's a big and beefy one. Uh, we didn't. We were in the middle of our awards when the Game Awards was going on, and they had a whole bunch of uh, announcements going on. So if, if if I miss out on anything, feel free to go ahead and jump in if there's anything that uh, speaks to you. But as for me, I think the big the big takeaway for me at least was uh, our boy Steve from Minecraft got announced for Smash. Don't you mean Sephiroth? Yes, I do. <laughs> but yeah. That's okay. Just, so like funny thing about that, Blaine and I were watching the Game Awards together. Like we just like hung out and watched it together. And our fucking reaction to Sephiroth <laughs> was the best. Like both of see, us I, lost it. <laughs> I, I wish I had been watching it live because I was just at work, like refreshing the page, see what what's happening. And I just love like I, I haven't even I'm not sure if he's even available yet. He is. Um, he's been available he for, for yeah. like like a couple of weeks. But um, ev- everything about the trailer is just so fucking perfect. The way it uses the music, the uh, the Advent version of One Winged it Angel. Was just it's just the take- Advent children fight. Like that's all it was. They yeah, they, they use ex- they use exact visual that. cues from it. Remade it. They he stabbed Mario <laughs> through the fucking heart. Mario's oh wait, no, it's just dead. it's just his fucking uh, overall sleeve. Mario's dead. Luigi must put his corpse back together. Isn't Luigi already dead though? Like didn't. Uh, they've Nicholas? killed Mario and Luigi in like every trailer they've made for Smash Brothers since like the DLC started. And yet Kirby stands well, alone. Wait, what? Wasn't it the cast? Was it the Castlevania one where Luigi just gets fucking murked by death? Yes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yep. Damn. And Mario, um, Steve left Mario to get blown up by creepers. And. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, Ridley stabbed Mario through the heart, like directly. Like there was oh, no fuck, through. I forgot about that. Through his, oh, God, no right. through his overalls. <laughs> he was fucking killed. <laughs> like we trailers are getting fucking morbid. <laughs> yeah, he'll just wake up in like two hours. He'll be fine. Yeah, it's a couple one ups. Mm-hmm. I can only imagine the look on fucking Nitro's face if he saw this shit live. He'd he'd be freaking the fuck out. <laughs> so then does does the release of Sephiroth mean that that's the end of volume two of Fighters? Or no, I think it's two more, I believe. More? Yeah, I believe there's three two more. more. Three more. Three more? Three more? Okay. Oh, man. There's six I, I, can't, second I can't keep up. I, I lost track. So I was like... Yeah, uh, I, don't, I, mean, this, I don't care. <laughs> this, this, is just fulfilling, games. Yeah. this is just fulfilling my childhood fantasy of seeing my two favorite characters, uh, Sephiroth and Steve, going at it in, in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a dream come true. Uh, there's a trailer for a new Perfect Dark game, which mm-hmm. people were, were, were incredibly excited for. I um, was stoked. I was... Yeah. I, yeah. So was I, I. I remember playing Perfect Dark for the N64 with my cousins, and then when my cousin got an Xbox 360 and he played Perfect Dark Zero, I was just so enthralled with watching him. And so when they yeah. announced that, I was like, dude, I'm ready. Let's be a super spy. I'm ready. Hmm. Like... <laughs> It was to me. I played the original Perfect Dark when it came out on the Xbox Live Arcade, like fucking forever ago. That was how I played it, and I still loved it. And like, even though it was just like a concept, the fact that Microsoft hasn't forgotten about that franchise is still really cool. And I would like to see what the Xbox Series X can do with the like, with the like, like Earth over overtaking everything again. I would love to so, see what, how that can work in like real time. I thought that was. I'm glad they're actually. I, was I thought good. that was interesting because like I remember me and Sarah watching that trailer and trying to the whole time. We yeah, were like, we didn't what know what it was. Is this we're like, what is this? And then, and then finally, the when it's like Joanna Dark, and it says Perfect Dark. We were, yeah, we were just. She was the first one to be like, "What the?" Fuck? I was like, "What are you talking yeah. about?" And then all of a yeah, sudden, I saw the Cyberdyne logo and I was like, "Oh my god, they're actually doing a." Perfect I did. I don't think I don't think anybody thought that microsoft would bring back perfect dark yeah. well so it's that. been it's been rumored th- for the past couple of years sh- not shitting you because a perfect dark twitter account was registered around two years ago to a microsoft e, e- email like someone looked up the email for this account and it was a microsoft e- email and the account was huh. locked and it was locked for around a year and a half and then the one person following the account was the guy who created Perfect Dark back at Rare. And people were like, why does this account exist? 
and it stayed locked for about a year and a half that it unlocked it, it it had no tweets and that's when people started wondering what if microsoft's new studio is working on a perfect dark and then the then i guess there were some leaks last year that basically said that that's what was happening and they just like actually confirmed it at the game wars well, I feel that like that sense. stuff's so hard to keep track of, too, because a lot of that's just covering bases, especially with patents co- covering trade well, and whatnot. Fact, so sometimes it's a little oh, hard no, to that, tell. That was what sort of got people talking, especially when someone, like, Googled it and found out that, that there was a Microsoft account tied to it. That was when people were, were like, okay, this can't be, like, a fake thing if there's, like, an actual Microsoft person. Well, and also we have to remember it. that – we also have to remember that – um uh, what is it? Game reporters and rumor and rumor pushers uh, who do these deep, deep investigations on games that that have yet to even be announced. Um, they're getting better. Like they're getting a lot better yeah. at their job, mm-hmm. and so these companies have to get a lot better at hiding it and covering their bases. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And because I, I'm, I'm gonna, later on in the show, I'm going to bring up a, a, a theory that I have, and we're going to talk about it, but it's. It's huge. It's kind of like conspiracy theory level shit, but like I'm, I want to talk about it. <laughs> if you want to talk conspiracy theories, get your ass on on over. I'm to not that court. kind of conspiracy, Jose. <laughs> if that is your real name. But, uh, <laughs> just, okay, just to keep but things we moving. Like, to the most um, I, I'm just we so surprised. To the rock and arc, rock arc. No, not the rock. Vin Diesel. My God. No, we're not. Vin we're Diesel. not there yet. You can't Vin jump Diesel around. No, no, we are. We are. We are saying like this. We star, are going in order. Like, oh, okay, whatever. Huh? I would. We were, we were I'm like, what is this? I'm, and we go arc? I'm like, cool. <laughs> is he? Is, is he like going to be an MVP Di- giving Vin- us quests when we like go up to him butt naked, being like, Vin Diesel, give us a quest to get pants? <laughs> oh no. I think Vin Diesel has a proven track record in giving a shit about games and being hands on with it. And I, and uh, I'd have to relook it back up, but I believe he owns his own. Uh, not, I don't think it's an outright video game company, but they do some actual work on them or consulting you know or something that he like is that. Like a producer on but, too, right? <laughs> like he has his own he, title. Apparent- well, yeah, he, he he was a producer on the. Uh, he Riddick know that he also Diesel apparently is a giant fucking nerd. Sorry, yeah. man, go on. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, he plays. He played a lot of World of Warcraft with, um, fuck, what's his name? Mm-hmm. Uh, Paul Walker. He, he apparently has played like thousands of hours in the original arc. Um, so, like, that's why he's yeah, apparently he involved was, in arc two. And in the last arc update, because there was like an update right, right after the uh, game, game awards, they said, oh, hey, figured out this glitch, fixed this glitch. And then in, in, in like a second tweet literally said, Vin Diesel found this glitch and brought it to our attention. <laughs> he's the one that found it. Like he's like, he, he, he like has his own title. Like, like he's not fully working on the game, but he has this like specific title on it. It's so weird. And that was such a weird fucking trailer. It looked so, the blood looked really stupid. It was really long. And Blaine and I were just like, what the fuck is this? Is this like you want to know? Plus, like, you want to know my first instinct when I saw that trailer before I saw the arc logo? Did you, I was are you like, say Dino, Dino Crisis? Because I know I thought it was going to be a Turok remake. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't think of that, but that makes more sense I than whatever that, I thought. I, I was like, oh, it's it. Turok, and Vin Diesel's going to be Turok. That makes sense. <laughs> like, I guess. Like, yeah, I'm glad it wasn't it. that because we also, don't. Know. We don't need a non-native person being Turok. <laughs> yeah. Also, also, I wait. Is Turok yeah, a person? Yes. Well, yes, it's Turok a, like in the is game. The dude, is it? Is it? Isn't that how it goes? Turok is. Yeah. It, Turok, Turok is, is a like a type. It's, it's Turok is like a name in the sense that, that like there are many different people that take up the role of Turok. Okay. But it's usually okay. a, a. Is Turok that, like? Like dinosaur it's Batman, like a native, like American type person, time traveling. Yeah, it's know? it's but, always yeah. been a Native American, regardless yeah. of what game you're playing. That's why I would just be like, ooh. I mean, I don't know what Vin Diesel's ethnicity is, so like I could but, be wrong. But or, 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 also, Diesel. like after that, like there's just nothing personally that I have found funnier than the the title arc the animated series. I yeah. just, I just, every time Who I see it, I, I, for that? I, 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 like, it's so funny. I can't laugh at it. 
Like, who's, who's on Twitter I going can. like, man, you know what we need? You know no, what no, we need? Blaine, Arc survival Blaine, anime you're not series. And wide enough. Which of the seven year old kids who play Ark said, Arc? I need an Ark cartoon mm-hmm. that's hella violent? Which <laughs> beautiful animation. Like, it looked like a Don Bluth yeah. movie. Like, Oh my goodness! I like it looks Sarah, you're in What? Sarah, so you're you're super into like fan theories. Is there? Please tell me there's a fan theory that uh, Dominic Toretto, the name of the character that Vin Diesel plays in Fast and Furious, he's just driving so fast off off of the fucking oh, diesel know. in his car. You know, because you know, f- fuel is is made from fo- it's, it's fossil fuels, so that means it's dinosaurs. No. He's just going so fast, he time travels back. I said it was yeah, Fast and Furious, Furious Zero. Zero, the first family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that's I mean, Jesus Christ. That's the second dumbest theory I've ever heard because the dumbest theory is my theory that I've held on to that the Crossfire X single Which player campaign is is, is is the Crossfire X um single player campaign being worked on by Remedy is just a fucking facade and it's actually going to be uh the, a new Max Payne game, but it's not Max Payne. It's Alex Casey. I am okay. Listen, we can't not talk about theory. All right, we, we got to move on. Right, Blaine has been for every remedy theory so far. Hence, no. why I believe her and this crazy theory that she had. Blaine, Blaine is a prophet of the I, I predicted <laughs> Alex Casey being a real human in the control universe. So. <laughs> 